Are you looking to buy an Urban Arrow family? Or did you recently buy one? In this video, I'm covering my top 10 tips that I review with all my customers to get them started when they are taking home their new Urban Arrow family. If you are new here, hello! My name is Arlie with Bike Shop Girl, a family and cargo bike shop in Colorado. My focus is connecting families and communities by bike. Today, we are doing an overview of my top 10 tips for getting started with the Urban Arrow family cargo bike. We will dig deeper into many of these tips in future videos, but this video is perfect to get you started. If you wanna learn more about the Urban Arrow family, I will link to the overview video that I did a few weeks ago about this bike. My first tip is an important one to remember before you even leave the bike shop with your new bike. Make sure your Urban Arrow dealer has programmed your key code and your phone number to the Bosch motor. This is something only a Bosch dealer can do and should be done before you leave the store. You can ensure this has been done by checking the printout of your diagnostics report, which your dealer should also provide you with your new bike. My second tip is adjusting your seat height. And this is for any cargo bike. Starting off with a new cargo bike or test riding it, I recommend to have your seat height slightly lower than normal so you can confidently touch the ground on both sides. The Urban Aero family is an electric assist bike, so for your first test rides or first few rides getting used to the bike, it isn't as critical that your seat height is perfect. As you get used to the bike, raise the seat, but initially I want you to feel confident to have both feet touching the ground to balance the bike when you stop and get started. In the future, I will be doing a video dedicated to riding and steering a Bach Feats or Box bike, so make sure to ask any questions about that below. The third tip is adjusting your handlebars so you feel comfortable and confident. Using a simple one bolt design, you can raise and lower your handlebar and also adjust the tilt. Doing this with a friend is the easiest so you can keep your hands on the handlebars. Adjust the handlebar so your arms are comfortably reaching out. Not too high so your shoulders are wearing out and not so low that your weight is on your hands. The fourth tip is adjusting your grips and brake levers. Now that your handlebars are in a good place, adjust your grips using a four or three millimeter Allen to rotate them so your wrist is comfortable and in line with your arm. Once your grips are in place and you wanna do the same thing with your brakes, making sure everything is in the same plane. Finally, you can also adjust the distance your brake lever is to your finger or the reach of the brake lever. So you can just reach out and comfortably pull the brakes without stretching for them. My next tip is using and adjusting the kickstand. The Urban Aero kickstand is amazing and steady if used properly. To engage, simply reach down with your foot and push it down while pulling back with your handlebars. When parking your bike, make sure you're on level ground and the bike isn't pointed downhill. Now if the kickstand gets sticky with use, there are four bolts holding the clamps under the kickstand. Carefully loosen very slowly micro adjustments and then test the kickstand snap over time. I also take the clamps off and clean them after a hard winter of riding. I will say it can be dangerous if you loosen these clamps too much as it can allow the bike to roll back over the kickstand. My next tip is all about shifting. Most of the Urban Aero family line uses the Enviolo continuously variable transmission. This is also used in some cars, but the basic idea is your gears are in the rear hub and the gears don't have steps in between them. You just adjust infinitely from one end to the other. This allows you to fine tune your shifting without looking for that next click in gears. You can also shift if you're at a stop because of the internal gear. Finally, my biggest recommendation for proper shifting is to try not to shift under load going up that huge hill. The seventh tip is understanding your e-bike functions. Now, I'll have an in-depth video for using the Intuvio Bosch controller, but here are the core features to get started riding this bike. First, turning on the bike. 
make sure your head unit is clicked all the way in. Then you press the power button and now your bike is turned on but you don't have assistance. To get assistance, you use the plus and minus buttons on your hand controller to change between the different assistance levels. This starts at 50% assistance for Eco, all the way up to 260% for the Performance model and 300% assistance on the Performance CX model. Remember, this is just amplifying the pressure you apply to your pedals by that percentage, and it will stop assisting you at 20 miles per hour. The other key thing around the basic e-bike functions I like to show customers on this bike is that the head unit does come off. You can put a screw in the back, but most people take this off when locking up somewhere, but be warned that if the head unit isn't engaged properly, then your bike may not turn on or will turn on but not connect with the motor. Tip number eight, walk it out. The eighth tip is that most newer urban aero bikes have a bike walk function. This is where you can press a combination of buttons and your bike will slowly propel itself forward without you pedaling. This is good for when you are needing to walk your heavy bike up a ramp or into your garage. To engage, you have to be in an assistance mode, eco, whatever, and then you press the walk button on the top of your controller. When it says walk plus, you hold down the plus button. Keep pressing the plus button and your bike will start moving forward. Release that button if you are done needing assistance. The ninth tip is a two for one about your bike locking system. Your Urban Arrow comes with a frame lock that holds the key when the lock is open. This makes it so you always have a lock, but this key is also the key to your expensive battery. So always lock that rear wheel and take your key with you. This key has numbers on it, which would allow you to order a new key if you lose yours. As I mentioned in tip number one, I personally program this key onto each bike's motor along with the customer's phone number. A freebie tip here, I had a little key tag using a label maker with the customer's last name and phone number in case they lose their key, someone can hopefully return it. Now, I'm not gonna get into the battery or battery hygiene, but I do have additional videos for that, so look for those linked below. And last but certainly not least, practice. If you plan on riding this with cargo, especially young kids, please test ride this bike in various conditions so you are confident before putting your kids in. My wife made me ride 100 miles before putting my seven-month-old baby in it. Now I can personally ride my Urban Arrow with my 80 pound dog wiggling around in the front with just my right hand on the brake and shifter and my left hand holding a coffee. It is brilliantly steady once you know how to ride it. So please practice. I hope these tips were helpful. If they were, make sure to hit like and subscribe. This video is part of a playlist on the Urban Aero family cargo bike. If you want to dig deeper into this bike, check out the playlist for more videos. If you are just getting started on your cargo bike journey, look below for a link to my in-depth cargo bike guide. Until next time, thanks for joining me. This was Arlie with Bike Shop Girl, where I'm connecting families and communities by bike.